All right, today I'm gonna to show you how we got this frame in the condition it is right now. Using POR 15, a little bit of elbow grease, and no sandblasting, basically on the cheap. Let's get into it. All right, so getting back into this project, rewind it all the way back to the day I brought this thing home, start tearing it apart. This frame was disgusting. It was your typical, what you guys are probably dealing with, absolutely rusty, chunky, uh, just disgusting, not rusted through frame, but regardless, it was gonna take some sandblasting is what it really needed to get it back into a, a paintable condition. Now, I'm not endorsed by POR 15. I've just used it in the past and I've had success with it. It covers a lot of area for uh, with one coat. It's really durable. And what I like about it is I can paint this stuff on with a cheap paintbrush and it comes out with a nice level finish because it self levels. Now you can spray this stuff, you can scuff this stuff and paint over it if you want to seal it and then paint it at your frame or whatever you're working on a different color. But I chose to go with this semi-gloss black. Seems to work for me. I like it. Now, I'm gonna tell you that this stuff is not cheap. For about a gallon, it's about 260, 270 bucks. But I did this entire frame with one quart. Now, it's cheaper to buy it by the gallon. You can buy it in the quarts. You can even buy it in the pints. But there's some issues with buying it in a gallon because if you don't get that gallon used up in the first part of your project, boy, that stuff's gonna harden up. It's gonna create that like pudding uh, scab over it. You gotta peel it off. You get this stuff on your hands, man, it's a bad day. So what we do is we wind up buying some, you know, quart tin cans. They're super cheap at Lowe's. Get yourself some paint brushes, get yourself some gloves. Definitely get yourself some gloves. Get yourself a tarp to put on the floor if you, if you don't want this stuff on the floor, because I'm telling you, Wherever you put this stuff, it's going to be there forever. Trust me. If it gets on your hands, you're wearing it for about a month. Whose idea was this? Do yourself a favor. Go to the hardware store. Split this stuff up into four quarts. Then you put it in your house. Put it in your garage. If it's warm, don't store it anywhere where it's going to get destroyed. So put it in a good place for future use. That's my suggestion. This frame was absolutely gnarly absolutely gnarly i could not stand to look at this thing and i was dreading the day that i was going to have to get this thing cleaned up because i obviously didn't have the money to go get it sandblasted i didn't want to go that route that would have been the better alternative but i didn't go down that road because i'm cheap so we wire wheeled this bad boy we grinder wheeled we wire wheeled we scrubbed it we did everything to it and we got it to the condition where we can start painting. So lay our tarp down, separate our product out, get it in the quartz. Using that one quart, I was able to get this whole frame done. And this stuff spreads pretty easy. Put on this first coat, it goes on like a flat black satin. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'll tell you what. In the areas that I had prepped and they were completely really smooth, it actually, when I when I put on the second coat, it dried like this. Look at that. It dried in like a gloss, high gloss finish. And guys, this was put on with a paintbrush. I painted this on, look, you can tell. Look at my strokes there. You get, I got paint strokes there. So I, I have to do another coat, but I, I wind up liking this in a, in a real glossy finish because this is gonna be the engine bay, obviously. And boy, it just, it, it turned out super excellent now let's go look back at that really roach part of the frame and see how this product went on there because you know it's not going to be perfect guys this stuff it doesn't it doesn't fix and it everything and it doesn't create miracles but what it does is it stops this stuff from rusting any further i mean it just it's never gonna come off, and this stuff is never gonna rust again. And this thing, and it's super hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Rock chips and stuff, it's not gonna get through this. And this stuff actually uses 
the moisture in your metal to cure itself. And I don't know if you guys have ever like taken a torch and put it on a raw piece of metal. You think it's completely dry. You put that torch to that raw piece of metal, you'll start seeing it change color and it's gonna wet on the outside and you'll see it uh, wicking moisture out as you heat it with the torch. And that's a completely dry piece of metal to your naked eye. This stuff, it's no different. Even when you're in the driest environment, you put a torch to this, it'll start sweating on the outside of that torch. POR15 takes that moisture in the metal and uses it to cure itself into the metal. So it eliminates it all. Now you can tell right here, when I put the C notches in, this is a really like clean, brand new metal, no problems at all. Guys, that is a mirror finish put on with a paintbrush. So obviously the more you prep on this, the better it's gonna come out, trust me. But if you have roached out tops of the frames, this is all pretty common in the rust belt here. This is what it's gonna turn out to look like. It's not horrible, but it's hideable. If you're doing this on the cheap, this ain't gonna hurt no one's bank. Come on guys, a cheap, cheap wooden paintbrush. Put this on and it looks that nice. Now, could it look nicer? Heck yeah, it could. I could spray this whole frame with a gun and this thing would be completely, completely professional, flawless, no little hairs from the cheap paintbrushes in here. But honestly guys, this is the frame I'm working with. It ain't that kind of project. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want it to look nice, but we ain't going to SEMA with this truck, all right? And it's good enough for the girls I go with, so this is the method I use. Now getting into this project, we have a 71 C10 frame, all the way down, obviously, to the frame, off restoration. We're putting the CCP uh, rear suspension set up in here. We've already C-notched the channel, uh, or C-notched the rear frame here. We're rebuilding the axle. We're airbagging this whole bad boy. We're going with a five-speed manual transmission, brand new, uh, new technology, all that stuff. We're going with a 7.4 big block. Yes, big block. out of a 99 Silverado. We're having that redone. That bad boy's sitting right over here. We're gonna send this in. We'll get rid of all this fuel injection. We've got high plane intake, all the goodies. We're gonna try to get at least 500 ponus out of that bad boy. I think we can do it. Rear end, guys, I used the POR15 on this rear end and it turned out absolutely amazing. So this is what you're gonna run into when you're using paint brushes, cheap paint brushes. You can get an expensive paint brush, but you're never gonna use that paint brush for anything again. Now, you're gonna get a little hairs and that's gonna happen. And if you're really anal about it, you just take it and you peel the hairs out and then you paint over it again. Not a big deal. Um, the axle was kind of not eh, in a little rough shape, but it wasn't too bad. But, you know, we just wire wheeled it. We didn't get crazy. We didn't take it all the way down to like shiny bare metal. But it filled in all the cracks and crevices. Everything turned out amazing. Now, you can still read the lettering, everything. It goes on real thin. This is first coat, obviously. The guys, I really don't need to do second coats. I've never done second coats. Whenever I've used this, I've never done second coats. It's always been enough with the first coat. Guys, that that's what you get. POR 15. For the money, no sandblasting. Just a cheap paintbrush and a little bit of your time turned out pretty nice you know obviously a lot of time scrubbing it because I'm not gonna lie to you depending on what your frame condition is it's gonna take a little bit of while to clean this all up now I wiped this all down with lacquer thinner make sure I got all the oils and greases out especially in here we just rubbed her out yep so powder coated not powder coated I would say uh, 
that's pretty damn good for just a paintbrush out of a can. Hope it works for you. You got any questions? Leave them down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them and uh, get back at you. Hope you guys stick around to see what this project looks like because we're going to start putting a lot of new parts on here. So appreciate watching. See you on the next episode.